What's up everyone, it's James Q Quick, and I have been streaming for the last couple of months and I want to make those streams a little bit more interactive. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to create a Twitch chatbot using Node.js. All right, so I've got up my uh, Twitch page here. It's twitch.tv slash James Q Quick. And you can see uh, like old videos that I've done or old streams that I've done. A lot of those come on YouTube as well. And then if I go to the chat button, um, then in here you can see like this is where you'd obviously send chat. So that's what we're gonna mess with. Or that's what we're gonna test with. And then inside of GitHub, there's a library, a package called TMIJS. And that's what we're gonna use to help facilitate uh, basically making like a socket connection to these uh, Twitch channels or to the Twitch chat uh, for my channel and be able to be able to uh, handle incoming messages and respond in any way we want, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, one of the things you will need is you'll need to get an OAuth uh, token from Twitch. And uh, TMI actually has, twitchapps.com slash TMI, actually has this link right here where you can go and you can click connect and that will give you a token. I already have mine inside of VS Code inside of my .env file. So I'm not gonna show you what's in there because that's private, but uh, you'll get that from that link that I just showed you. And then you'll uh, dump that in. You can either hard code it, don't check it into your source code. Uh, or if you wanted to do a little bit better job, you could check it in as an environment variable. And I'll have a link uh, to a video where you can learn more about environment variables if you never used them before. One last thing I wanna show you is if you uh, watch my videos and you have questions about the stuff that we cover, I've got a Discord channel, link below in the description, where you can come and you can join and ask questions and, and have a conversation. I'm really trying to encourage people to go here. So if you enjoy the video, you have questions, or you just wanna hang out and talk and see uh, what other people are working on, uh, feel free to join that as well. So let's start, uh, let's just look at the instructions on TMI and you start by installing the package, uh, which makes sense. So I'm going to install that package as well as .env. Now this is again for me to use environment variables. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna grab this little code snippet here. This is basically uh, all we need to get started. So what we're doing is we require TMI. We also, I need to, since I'm using environment variables with .env, I need to uh, say require the .env package and then call config. This is just going to make the variables that are inside of this .env file available to me inside of Node. So then we uh, require the TMI package. We use that to create a client and there's different, uh, different properties in here that you can uh, work with. But the things that we care about is I'm going to use process.env, not that, process. I don't know why I'm getting that IntelliSense. Process.env dot, and then uh, Twitch username. And that's not necessarily secret, it's James Q Quick. I just like putting things like that inside of inside of environment variables, just because those are things that could potentially change if I run in different environments. So I don't want to hard code that stuff, even if it's not uh, necessarily private. And then the password down here will be uh, process.env.twitch password. So those are the two things that you need, your username and then your password. And again, that password is from that link where you go and click the button, it'll give you the thing uh, that you need. And then the channel in here, this channel is going to be James Q Quick. So there's the channel. Uh, and that's basically it. So if we run this, and I'm gonna use uh, something called Nodemon. If you've never heard of Nodemon, you install it globally, npm install dash G Nodemon. And then what it will do is it will run your file, in this case, the app.js, like Node, uh, but it will automatically reload that Node server if you make a change to a file. And you'll see that in a second. So if I run this, and then if I just come into my file in VS Code and click save, uh, you see it does a restart here, nothing changed, but it did a restart anyway. So uh, it says that I've joined as uh, James uh, Q Quick, and let's see if we come over to the channel here and say, hello, we hopefully will see uh, that that is logged out over here. All right, but now we want to say, now we wanna actually respond, so we, this kind of shows us inside of the logs here. It shows us the message that came that comes through. We can actually see that with the message property. So if I do this and then uh, come back over and say, hey, again, or something, uh, we should be able to see, hey. So we can grab the message. You can also grab uh, lots of things about the message uh, in the tags. So it's not, to me, that's a, kind of a weird, um, weird place to put this information. Uh, but inside of tags, you get lots of good stuff. You can figure out 
who the message came from, what the username was that sent the message. You can find badge info, how many, um, actually, I'm not sure what the subscriber is because it should be me and I've got more than five subscribers, but I'm not sure. Uh, display name is the same as the username. Uh, is this person a subscriber? Uh, user ID, a few different other things. For the most part, you probably just care about the username. So anyway, we can grab that username from tags, that username like they have here. And then what the existing code is doing is it is uh, grabbing the incoming message, it's converting it to lowercase, and it's checking to see if it equals uh, exclamation hello or bang hello. And if you have been on Twitch, you uh, maybe have seen that people use these as commands. So a command that you want to let people interact with your uh, stream in some way is prefixed with a um, exclamation. So what this should look like is if I come in here now and say uh, bang hello, it should respond back and it responds back with that user's username using tags.username and then it shows uh, the hey guy message which is just actually the response here. So one of the things that I was thinking about uh, for work was I want to kind of, I wanna have like a giveaway during a stream. So I wanna let like start a giveaway and then let people uh, kind of submit themselves and then choose a winner and then just announce who the winner was in chat. So uh, to do that, I did a couple of things. I'm gonna have a const uh, entries equals, and I'm just going to do a JavaScript object in this case. So entries is gonna be a JavaScript object, not an array, <clears throat> but I keep typing the wrong thing. There we go, a JavaScript object. And then what I wanna do is I want to decide when to stop this giveaway thing or whatever you wanna call it, this uh, prize. So I wanna, I wanna let people submit their names, and this will probably, probably just run like it would probably just run like I would start this at the beginning of a stream and then let people submit and what I want how I want them to submit is uh, basically just let them send um, an enter command if they send an enter command I want to uh, get entries and then go ahead and say entries at the tags dot username equals username now the reason I'm using a JavaScript object instead of an array here is because if someone enters twice, I don't wanna just automatically, or multiple times, I don't wanna put them on the array every time, if, if that makes sense. So if I've got an array of entries and I enter, so my name gets added, I don't want to then add that same name again. And so to check to see if a name is already inside of an array, there's a performance thing where it'll take n number of times to figure that out versus in a map, uh, if they already exist, I'm just overriding them so it doesn't really matter and it doesn't take any additional time kind of getting into your algorithm stuff there, but not super important. So I just want to store all of the different uh, usernames in a JavaScript object to know that they have entered the thing. All right, so that is that. And then I want to, I want to have a Boolean say is admin message. And what I want to do is I want to check, does the uh, tags.username equals process.env.username. So the person that I am logged in as, which is my process.env, oh, this is actually, sorry, Twitch and all uppercase, username. So I'm basically trying to check, am I the one sending the message? So if the use, incoming username of that message is, um, is the same as the username that I use to sign in inside of my node bot, then uh, it will be considered an admin message. And what I want to say is if, else if, message dot to, uh, actually I don't need to lowercase it, it'll be fine. Uh, if message equals uh, stop entries, something like that, doesn't really matter what it is, stop entries, then I want to uh, pick a winner and uh, notify that that person won. So what I wanna do uh, is say if, if the message equals, and maybe pick winner is better, pick winner, and then say and, and make sure that this is an admin message. So if the message comes in from me and the message is a pick winner command, now I want to grab a random key out of that, um, or grab a random name out of that entries object and then say, hey, you are the winner or whatever. So I'm kind of thinking here, what's the best way to get a random, um, a random key out of a JavaScript object. And I'm thinking we'll need a random num. And so we'll use math.random. 
And what we'll need to do is we'll need to get a random number between zero and the total number of entries that we have. So the total number of entries that we have is entries. Actually, maybe, maybe this would be a good, maybe we'll go ahead and convert this to an array. So let's grab, let's say entries array or R equals object dot values of entries. So at this point, we should just have uh, kind of a regular array here. And then we can uh, say, let's do entries r dot length. So math.random times entries r dot length. Math.random will return a number between zero, including potentially zero, but not including one. And then we multiply that by the, by the total number that we need. And that's gonna give you a decimal. So then we can math.floor that. So random number should be there. And then uh, what we wanna do is grab um, the const winner equals entries array. Now this is gonna be hard to prove when I don't have other people uh, chatting in here, but um, entries array equals, or excuse me, entries array of random num. And then let's just respond back. And I think it was, was it client.say, client.say? No, let's see what the original say command was. Actually, I guess it is client.say, yeah. So let's uh, just respond back here to say client.say, and then we'll use the winner inside of this template literal, and we'll say the winner is uh, the winner. All right, and this is gonna be uh, a little bit hard to test just because it's just me, but we'll kind of see how this works. So what I wanna do is let's give a little bit of some logging here. So let's do something like uh, when a user enters, so when they run that or submit that enter command, uh, let's say you have been entered. And instead of winner, this one will be tags.username. And I think this should be tags that username as well. So um, client that say you have been entered uh, to the username. So if we click enter, if we type the command enter, this should uh, respond back to say we have been entered. Now as the admin, I can say uh, pick winner. Is that what we call that command? Let's see, uh, pick winner. Yeah, pick winner. So let's run that. And then we say the winner is James Q Quick. Obviously that's me, I'm the only person in the chat. So that's not too surprising, but I think this is a pretty cool way to, uh, during a stream, let people submit to say, hey, uh, I wanna be entered into uh, this thing. And then uh, at the end, s uh, actually pick a winner from that list of people that have uh, joined. So anyway, this was kind of a, a little hacky type video, just kind of having fun with this uh, TMI. TMI is kind of interesting, but uh, the TMI package to interact with Twitch. And then you can do like really, cool stuff. So if you're ever interested in streaming or you've ever seen or you've seen other people stream and uh, you kind of wondered how all of this uh, Twitch chatbot stuff works, that's it. It's really pretty simple. It's really not that bad. So I'm curious, question of the day, are you streaming on Twitch? If you are, uh, throw your channels down in the comments and I'll definitely check it out. And then I'm curious if you've ever uh, worked with ch Twitch bots or if you've ever seen those used in other people's streams, let me know in the comments below as well. Anyway, uh, thanks for kind of hanging out with us, uh, just kind of hacking around video. I had fun. Hopefully you did too. And I will see you in the next one.